So you have some sensitivity on your tooth. Maybe when you drink something cold or you brush your teeth out of that area, I got news for you. It's probably not a cavity. Weird, right? You think that if you have sensitivity, that's what cavities are. That's how you know you have a cavity. Well, here's a weird fact. Okay, most of the people that come into my office that have cavities, they do not know they have cavities. Something like 90% of them, okay? That most cavities don't hurt. Let's say that again. Most cavities don't hurt. It's really weird, right? Cavities can hurt, but most of the time when a cavity hurts, it's been in a cavity that's been there for years and years, and it should have been fixed years ago. But even then, some of these teeth, most of these teeth, that half the tooth is rotted away, is a giant hole in the tooth, um, you think it would hurt, doesn't hurt at all. I'll people that come in and have 10 of those in their mouth. Their mouth just destroyed with cavities, and they're usually not in pain. Doesn't mean they can't be. So what is that sensitivity that people come in for and they think they have a cavity? Most commonly, it's caused by root recession. So root recession is where the gums around your tooth either move up on the top or on the bottom, they move down, okay? This usually happens from clenching and grinding our teeth when we sleep. Most people don't know they do it. Most people don't have headaches and jaw pain, all those things you hear about from it. Uh, but uh, what they can cause is gum recession. And when the gums recede, uh, the root of the tooth is exposed. And if you sometimes you brush on it or you drink cold water, it will hurt and sting and give you that feeling of what you think is a cavity starting. So I'll have people that come in all the time, they come in just for that, I have this tooth, it's sensitive, I, I think I have a cavity, I might need a root canal. And they're in luck because they look at it and say the tooth is fine, it doesn't have a cavity, it's kind of mildly annoying. Now sometimes uh, if it's uh, really annoying, okay, there are things we can do to try to get rid of that. Now, sensitive toothpaste like Sensodyne, other ones do work. They don't work perfectly, but they can help. And they also don't work overnight. If you're using like Sensodyne toothpaste, one other sensitive toothpaste, uh, you want to use it probably a month before you know it's a difference. And it's usually not a hundred percent difference, but it does work. There are also professional dental uh, desensitizers. We can rub right on the area uh, and it will take away the sensitivity. It usually blocks the little tubules that the liquid or cold is touching that is causing the sensitivity. Unfortunately, it's not a permanent fix. Uh, it will work right away. It usually can get it, it depends on the tooth, but anywhere from like 60 to 90% of the sensitivity is gone, but it does wear off. So it's like a band-aid, I tell people. It's not expensive, but it's a band-aid. It'll, it'll just wear, last a few weeks. Other people will last a good year before it's kind of bothering them again. Uh, other times, there, where there's a little groove that develops on the side of the root, also caused by the clenching. That's a different story. Um, if we put, sometimes we'll put a filling over that, and that is a physical membrane filling, tooth colored filling, uh, and that will often help with the sensitivity as well. So, if you have sensitivity that is caused by those things, I'm saying there is not a problem, but there's a good chance it's a very minor, mild problem. I would still go to my dentist to get it checked out because it could be a bigger problem. But again, most cavities don't hurt. <sighs>